little bit of the footwork where you're switching from side to side the motion can be used where the front foot is forward or the rear but this one is developing the side to side motion this one is actually gathering the coordination of catching the blow when it's coming lower to the stomach area Preparing to the outside from the inside of the arm, controlling, then punching. Again, punching to the sternum. This gives a better view of how this drill is executed. With power, this blow can actually break the sternum bone. We showed here with the elongation that shows that you could make a preemptive strike whether it be to the eyes or whether it be a chop to the artery on the side of the neck this helps us understand a little better how this drill deals with the low line and the punch is very precise with the knuckles very precise. Slowing it down some. Chopping and catching the arm develops timing also the shifting footwork from side to side. This gives us an elongated view stretching it out. As I said before, it would naturally be done on both sides. Three minutes, then three minutes on the other side. Putting forth the preemptive strike gives us a better understanding. At a different angle, showing that you actually dig the knuckles into the sternum. Most people punch with the fullness of the hand. This we emphasize actually putting the knuckles into the target. Target acquisition and target completion with the proper tool is most important. Giving a different angle again. Showing the chop to the neck, chop to the other side. This movement could be utilized as a dance movement, but that isn't the particular tape we're in. Guarding the outside line, pulling out, controlling, and punching again to the sternum. In practice, punching to the sternum gives you a target without worrying about if you accidentally miss and hit the person in the nose or in the eye. This helps. But we must re-emphasize that the motion goes into the body with the proper weapon. Pulling. We swing the arm out to open the body up. We swing the arm out to open the body out. Of course, there's other things he could do, but we will react to them naturally and in accord with how he moves. Always controlling, always on guard. These are basic drills to understand coordination, also understand power. You can correct the punching, you can correct the pulling and the pushing out of the arm. Now, same motion with the side step. We step, once you punch, across the body and slap the face. 
This can be done with a punch or it can be done with the palm. Now you can see that the thumb is in position to hit the eye at any point in time. One of the good reasons why we use open hand, it gives you the dexterity of being able to use the fingers. The outside step, after the punch, helps to understand moving across the body. Once you move to the outside, you move back across to his inside. Once you move to the outside, you move back across to his inside. Out and then across. Out, then back across and the thumb is always in position to move to the eye. We must emphasize that this is a combative art. So all the things that would be illegal in sport we utilize. You may not have the knockout blow but the finger to the eye is the most effective weapon even for a smaller person. So we move now to guarding the outside line with the low swing kick same motion and we kick to the thigh or the knee if you have on shoes it's much easier to kick to the knee with the toe of a good shoe especially a steel toe boot but if not you use the shin to hit to the thigh this is a very effective weapon and is utilized inside of our drill as a basic motion to understand how to open the person's body up with the pull, unbalance them, then perform the kick to the leg. Different angle shows how it's executed. These movements should be imitated. In African martial art, imitation is the best way to learn. You learn through imitating the movements, the body mechanics, developing power, and of course, you can kick various bags and other areas of the martial art equipment that is put out in the various martial arts magazines and also in the various areas of training. You must learn to control the opponent and utilize the kick inside of the drill so that it moves and flows properly and is coordinated with the hand moves. The upper body and the lower body must move together so that there is coordination of power. Coordination of power brings about those qualities that bring about true fighting ability. Watch how the motion swings into the kick. Now we're utilizing the cross kick. This kick is used when you're in a little tighter. It can be utilized also from a longer distance. We're kicking the thigh here as a target, but you could utilize also a kick to the shin, especially when you have on a good shoe. It makes it that much more devastating. You can kick the thigh which is good for practice because you raise your knee high or in a fighting situation you can utilize it to the shin or to the ankle. Now we will combine and drill the swing kick to the thigh and also the cross kick. Each can be utilized in its own place and time or in combination. This movement can be utilized with only a small amount of power but in an actual situation you would use complete power 
and incapacitate your opponent. 